What is up everybody? Good morning. I'm Kyle with Pig Iron Patina. It's November, we got Thanksgiving just around the corner and we just finished up this 250. This thing's over the top. Uh, really big thank you to you guys for all my subscribers, my followers. I really appreciate it. We're working on uh, trying to move and get a bigger shop and we'll start pumping out more than one at a time. I know y'all thought I've been asleep. I've got a little bit of sleep, but not much. Wait till y'all see this. This thing's over the top. This one's going to Chicago. Big thanks to you know who you are up there. We really appreciate it. It's your crazy clients asking for all this crazy stuff is the reason why our stuff's over the top. So without further ado, y'all let's do a walk around. I'll show y'all this thing. All right, all right, all right. We got a 250 gallon smoker on airbags. We got the big Coker tires. We got 225s on it. And guys, these are 6,000 pound axles. This is not no little 3,500 pound stuff. Um, these are swing arms that we make in house, and uh, we kind of do them over the top. It's got it's got brakes on it. It's got breakaway for the brakes. Um, this thing's loaded to the gills. I'm gonna try to do a pretty quick walk around. Guys, if you like this, please click like. It helps us with the YouTube algorithm. And uh, if you haven't subscribed and you love barbecue, well, you gotta do it. We got the 59 Cadillac tail lights on there. All LED, of course. All our uh, trailer frames are tubes, so it goes through the tube. All the wiring's hidden. Uh, so this guy was over the top, man. We ended up doing a uh, Santa Maria. Guys, look out for that video. I'm going to do another one here later uh, with interchangeable from um, grill to grate. I'm sorry. From grate to griddle. And we've also incorporated where you can add a rotisserie. So this guy's getting it all. Uh, the grate's removable, so the rotisserie is free and clear of obstructions. Guys, those are... Uh, you know cooler door handles this is an inch and a half thick doors y'all just like our uh, firebox doors that are insulated now in here we've got our uh, coal bed trays but what we've done here oh man those are heavy i've raised the fire brick in there so it's ease of cleaning uh nobody wants fire brick on the bottom and you can't clean the damn thing out it'll rust out so everything on this i've tried to uh to uh devise where uh you know super user friendly so what we've got there if y'all see that there's a grease runoff and it's going down and then you'll see in here it's going in a pipe and over here you've got your ball valve so you can run your grease off now also with the griddle it also runs in that same channel Oh man, so these things are uh, these things are pretty stout. The frames are all quarter inch, so they'll last forever. And then when you need to replace the expanded metal in them, it's pr pretty easy. So what you can do is just slam those shut. Like I said, I'll do another uh, video on that. Uh, right here's where you bolt in your rotisserie motors. So it's all been designed like that. Uh, over here, got smoke. We've got the sight glass on this one. We've got the butterfly dampers. You can operate with your foot if you want to. Now, I know y'all are wondering, why in the hell did he do a door that big? Well, yeah. Customer wanted to be able to cook pizzas. Oh yeah. So we've made a shelf. We're including a pizza peel. This shelf will slide all the way back, y'all, and make, that, make those coal beds, make that heat have to go over the pizza. So we'll do another video on that. I know it's crazy, but uh, why not? It doesn't all have to be just barbecue. 
why not be able to do two things at once? I think it's awesome. So guys, these things ride like Cadillacs. Well, actually better than Cadillacs. So we've got shock on it in the bag, of course. So you're riding on there, you got a shock taking care of that, triple threat. <laughs> so you're smoking, cooking pizzas, and cooking anything you want on the grill. Hell, you got griddle, all kinds of stuff. So we've got a five by two, two by five, I guess you'd say, stainless top on struts. So we can lift this up. It'll stay up for you so you can access all your wood. Of course, y'all seen the new pyros. You gotta have one of those chimney starters. That holds like 14 pounds, 14, 15 pounds, damn near a bag of charcoal, uh, I guess, depending on the brand you're using here. So we did a custom tongue box to keep it low slung and keep it uh, clean with the trailer. Um, we've got a 20 watt solar panel on this. So this guy wanted to be able to run his rotisserie through an inverter so we had to jump up to a 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery let me see here i'll go ahead and open this up now some of y'all might have seen my uh my 500 gallon uh bag smoker that was actually the second this is the third we've gone a little over the top on this one right here we've got a control panel with a breaker so you can shut off everything if you want to Here's a switch to uh, run uh, kind of ground effects lighting. We got them on the inside of the frame running all the way down. So this thing will glow at night. You'll see where you're walking. Um, compressor, tank, inverter, valve system. Y'all, this is remote control. You hit buttons and raise and lower the, the trailer. Uh, we don't mess around. We do the seven pin, obviously, because we've got brakes. Oh, there's some flag holders. Y'all, I'm rushing because this battery might run out on me. Uh, this is also where all your lighting hookup is inside there. So everything is ring lead and uh, crimped and, and bolted in, all your wiring. Electric jack, on the electric jack, it's got two lights too, so you can light up everything right here. Flag holders, I may or may not have already said that. And guys, you got the spot where you can set your cooler and uh, D-rings to, uh, to hook it down. Now also, you know, course we got to have the flip stack and he wanted the visors over the uh tail trues and uh so he also pushed me over the edge to uh go ahead and do the perforated handles on the 250s and i think it just turned out freaking killer so uh yeah maybe we'll just keep on doing that uh they are kind of labor intensive but man do they not look sharp and guys, smoke brisket, not meth. <laughs> oh man, I love my clients. They're always doing some crazy stuff. And that's that's me. We've got the water fill valve up there. Let's go ahead and open it up. I'll show y'all what we got inside. Of course, he went with the insulated bottom. Um, so we've got that in there. You know, you can always tell when you got an insulated bottom on a patina pit. When you see that, that line welded across there where we've got to clean that paint off before we clear. And that tells you that is one bad cooking machine. Got a handle to flip up your stack. And also a, a clip to cinch it down, obviously. Um, let's slide these. Uh, he opted for pullouts, top and bottom. You know, top's pretty normal. Pull outs on the bottom. 304 stainless grates, guys. These things are freaking killer. They're built to last forever. Made with 3/8 solid rod and uh, eighth inch one by one tubing. Uh, spared no expense. Isn't that what you said, like on Jurassic Park? <laughs> oh man. Anyway. So in there we've got the uh, insulated bottom guys and uh, we've got an inch and a quarter ball valve drain like we do on all our 250s going right through that three, three inches of insulated bottom now we've also got greasable pillow block hinges and also our handles spin y'all I don't know if y'all knew this they spin so when you're going up and down you're not sliding your hand on a handle it's going with you uh, that's the way I like to do it I kind of overthink everything 
Well, yeah, that's pretty much it, y'all. Let's close that tabletop down. That is a big tabletop for prepping stuff. Also, y'all keep in mind, that I don't think I mentioned it, on this tabletop, we left a little gap over here. So that way, you're sitting here prepping onions, bell peppers, whatever the hell you're doing. You slide it off into a trash can you set in there. Easy peasy. Triple threat. Sorry about the rush, guys. Uh, let's do a little walk around here. Don't know how much battery I got left. Two inch trailer ball. This thing turned out slick. I love it. Y'all get with me on Patreon. We just opened a Patreon. So we're also working towards uh, selling and moving. We're gonna do a bigger shop where we can do more than just one smoker at a time. I'm pretty pumped about it. Uh, it's thanks to you guys and all this work that y'all give me that uh, we can finally step it up a notch and uh, you know have a couple smokers going at once. I don't want to get too big or too cocky, but we're gonna get just right. Thanks again, y'all. Catch y'all on the next one. Adios.